This morning on KARK for today, we'll get a look at how the coronavirus will impact voting in Arkansas. And we'll also look at the differences between mail-in and absentee ballots. Plus, police have identified the people who were killed in a double homicide, where that investigation stands now. And more at-home births are being seen because of the pandemic. Later on, we'll tell you why more mothers are choosing this method. Now, from the station you count on for local news that matters, this is KARK for today. Good Friday morning, everybody. We made it to the end of the Ooh, week. So excited for the yeah. weekend. I'm Suzanne Brunner. And I'm meteorologist Pat Walker. DJ is off today as he mm -hmm. informed us yesterday that his Thursday was his Friday. And he's off Monday. And he's off on Monday. Four so Tuesday off. will I'm be jealous. his Monday. I'm jealous. I know. A four-day weekend be nice right now. You know what, though? We're giving him some hot weather. This yeah, weekend. let him have it. We're let all going to get it. some hot weather this weekend, <laughs> it does look like. Of course, we did get some of that rainfall last night. There's still a few scattered showers out there right now, but we had those really strong thunder storms move through Fort Smith down to Mount Ida and all the way down into southwest Arkansas. Now they have fizzled out, but you know what? Look at the rain it brought. Fort Smith over an inch of rainfall. Hot Springs 1100. So Little Rock did officially pick up some light rain. One one hundredth of an inch of rainfall. Of course, it's not raining now. It is cloudy. You can actually kind of make those out on the dash heating and cooling tower cam. It's 72 right now in Little Rock, and that's probably about as cool as it's going to get this morning. 88 will be our high temperature coming up for this afternoon. Suzanne? All right, Pat, thanks so much. 501 is your time. And this morning, we are taking a look at some voting terms like mail in, absentee, and early voting. Mandy Knoll is joining us right now in the studio to uh, take a look at some of the changes that Arkansas elections will see this year because of the coronavirus. Mandy? So we all know the election isn't going to be the same in November. We're in the middle of a pandemic. Election coordinators know it too. Arkansas Secretary of State John Thurston made it official. COVID-19 is a reasonable excuse for someone to get an absentee ballot. If you do plan to vote in person, poll workers will enforce social distancing. They'll clean and sanitize everything, and they're also expecting to handle a record number of absentee ballots. So it'll be all hands on deck for election officials. Political scientists at the U of A point out the differences between the mail-in voting you're hearing about on a national level and what's happening here in Arkansas. If you're registered in some states, you'll automatically get a ballot. On the other end is what we've traditionally had in Arkansas, absentee ballot where you needed some sort of reason or excuse. So we're all wondering, what's the difference between mail-in voting and absentee voting? Experts say universal mail-in voting is when registered voters get an incomplete ballot in the mail. Absentee voting is when a registered voter requests a ballot and fills out the proper forms. Some states even send applications to voters who want to vote absentee. Those are processed as soon as they come in. Now, to stop fraud, states that send either mail-in or absentee ballots require checks. Official Officials verify addresses, registration status, death records, and signatures for accuracy. Suzanne. All right, Mandy, thanks for breaking that down for us. Let's get to more local news that matters. A 93-year-old Little Rock man is dead after a late-night house fire. Roland Richardson was found dead inside a home on Old Forge. His wife was treated for smoke inhalation. Fire officials tell us that fire does not appear to be suspicious. Little Rock police are looking for a man accused of shooting at a car after a botched robbery. 17-year-old Tavian Bynum allegedly tried to rob two people back in April. Police say they sped away, and that's when Bynum shot their car twice. If you know where you might be, call police. North Little Rock officers released the identities of the victims in a double homicide. 57-year-old Daryl Momfrey and 40-year-old Dedrick Allen were both found inside an SUV in Little Rock back in April. Police haven't said how the men died. They also have not released any suspect information. Investigators still need your help on this case. Fort Smith police are investigating the drowning of a five-year-old. The child was playing around a pool when they fell in. That child was found about 10 minutes later. Officials do believe that was an accident. Just a tragic story for you this morning. We're going to get to more local news that matters in a bit. But first, you know, weather matters this morning. I saw a bit of a sprinkles on my windshield on the way to work. Yeah, I was going to stay for the rest of the day. I, I went to bed before the rain actually got here. I thought maybe around midnight or so it could get here to Little Rock. Of course, we can't stay up to midnight when you get up at 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning. Anyway, so I thought, okay, hopefully we had some rainfall. I knew it wouldn't be much, so just like Suzanne, 
I had a couple sprinkles or some sprinkles covering my car. Of course, the driveway was totally dry just out on the car itself. So we did have those thunderstorms really fired up yesterday afternoon around Fort Smith. Went through Yale County, Logan County, kind of turned, went through Montgomery and Western Garland County and kind of fizzled out as they hit Clark County. But we did get some of that light rainfall move through Little Rock. And we still have some showers out around Russellville and Danville, some around Mena, some thunderstorms over in Oklahoma. Other showers this morning from Walnut Ridge down to almost Newport, east of Batesville, some down around Augusta, McCrory, and Woodruff County. Nothing, though, falling right now here in the uh, metro. But there's a chance, 20% chance of rain at 7 o'clock, 72 degrees then, mostly cloudy and 84 at noon. A 30% chance of thunderstorms, though, this afternoon, 87 degrees there at 5 o'clock. So we got a few showers out in West maybe some in East Arkansas. They'll kind of go here throughout the morning hours. And then this afternoon, I think some of them will pop up maybe right here in the middle part of the state. So that's how we put that chance of rainfall in for this afternoon. But right now, it's just cloudy in Little Rock on the dash heating and cooling tower cam. 72 degrees, our wind is calm. It is 70 in Jacksonville, 72 in Conway, 70 in Benton, 71 in Pine Bluff, Russellville, 71. Hot Springs, you're at 72 degrees. So 88 or high today, 30% chance of rainfall. And then tonight, it's going to be a mild one. Temperatures will not get out of the 70s, just like they haven't gotten out of the 70s here this morning either. Suzanne? Hey, Pat, thanks. Mm -hmm. Hey, you remember that movie Dirty Dancing? It's, it's going to get a sequel. We're going to have more on that after the break, but that does have to do with our big question of the day. We want to know which movie you think should not get a remake. Carmen and I are going to talk about that in just a bit. Looking forward to your answers. Plus, an Arkansas woman pleaded guilty in the murder of a former state senator. We're going to have more on those charges that she's facing. But before we head a break, it's time to give you some hometown hellos on this finally Friday. We've got Julia watching in Conway. Good morning, Paul. He is watching in Benton, and we're going to go to Moralton where Carol is watching. Let us know where you're watching from this morning. We'll give you a hometown shout later on throughout the morning. We'll be right back.